Hey there, it's Brittany. Welcome back. Uh, I am in the middle of like 17 projects, so I thought, hey, let's start another one. Uh, not only am I in the middle of filming a different video that I started on Wednesday, today is July 4th, a Saturday. Um, I also am in the middle of listing like a bunch of stuff on my Facebook page to sell. So if you haven't seen the video be right before this one where I said I'm selling Zuni Bears, I'm, I've already listed all the earrings I have. Um, and I listed some pendants. Um, I th I'm thinking about de-stashing some beads, but I want to know what you think. Like, would you rather a, a me open a bead shop where I'm de-stashing like my own beads and uh, artisan beads? Um, let me know in the comments below. So while I was listing all this stuff, I was like, hey, I should make something out of one of my Zuni bears. Um, I know I showed you guys that um, polymer clay necklace that I made last week um, as a de-stressor, but I was just, I picked this guy up and he's so cute. He is for sale in my shop. I'm gonna quickly make a necklace out of it, but if somebody buys it, that's cool. If not, I'll keep him for myself. <laughs> it's $10. Um, and I'm also gonna make something out of this guy because he didn't, he's gorgeous, but he, he's not perfect. Um, there's, um, he's bent. So nobody's going to be able to tell on me, but I wouldn't want to sell them to somebody. So this is one of the Desert Night Sky guys. So um, I have something in mind for this. I don't have anything in mind for that yet, but I'm going to make something out of both in this video. So um, I did see out of the corner of my eye when I was thinking about this video, my new polymer clay beads from Chelsea's Beads. So I'm going to bust out some of the purple. Yep. But uh, you know me, purple's not going to be like the main color because while I like it, I don't, that's not my favorite. Uh, and that's kind of a wild purple. Um, there's, I have these green, which it's the same green, but I don't, yep. Okay, so we'll use these as accent colors. <clears throat> and I'm seeing some, I have blue beads like literally everywhere because it's my favorite color, but um I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. These I know dye my skin. Oh, they're so pretty though. I got them in Tucson last year. They don't really match though. I wanted them to match too badly and they don't. Mm, I'm seeing these purple beads that I don't remember buying ever. I usually remember when I buy beads. These are mixed dyed quartzite eight millimeter. Well, those are cute. I mean, these aren't the same purple, but that's okay. Apparently I bought two sets of them. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> what else do I have over here? Ooh, I have some lava stone beads. These are blue. These are, are these the right blue? So you guys uh, remember on one of the days I made a bracelet using these beads. Yeah, those look way better but I could okay 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 well eventually what I want to do is make a big a big zuni like this so I have a big one in my desert night sky but I don't have a big one in the on this pattern sorry I'm like blinding you here here's the large one in the desert night sky let's see how much bigger he is from than the little zuni so we eventually want to make a necklace uh, with this guy, but in this size. So anyway, that's neither here nor there for this video. So I'm going to get out my bead mat, my bead um, board. I actually cleaned it off, which is a shocker. I started organizing and then didn't finish. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm going to grab my pendant and some of my beads and then we're gonna zoom out a little bit so we can see my dirty bead map hold on one second I'll be right back. okay so as I said as of right now this guy is still available if not um, there were I added three others here's one of them um, to the shop well to my sh uh, Facebook page and then um, I'm also I can also take made to orders for those because I can even though the pat the pattern will be different I know how to make them so we have some beads here okay I'm getting an idea I'm getting an idea guys the muse is working 
So I'm going to grab some of just a couple. So I have six of these. I have some left for when I want to make my big Zuni bear necklace. Because I don't think I'll like put him on this one. Um, now I need to oh, I have my spacers, my crystal spacers. Always very important. I had those. Oh, here they are. The, those disco ball crystals from that bracelet that I used. Um, we all know I like purple, green, and blue together. And I was trying to think if I wanted to use some of these beads. These are all I have left. And I don't feel like making more right now. Maybe in the future. Um, I mean, they're the perfect colors, but... I think I think we're gonna go with what's here. Um, so I think I need a couple bead caps or spacers or something. So I mean I know these are the same things, but I'm making a necklace to match a bracelet that I already made. So <coughs> if you want to see the bracelet again, I have it right here. Look, all of the bracelets from my uh, challenge are in this bag so far. They're not gonna always fit in here, but I'm on day nine. And I will do a recap at day 10. So here's the bracelet that I made that we're making a matching necklace for right now. So tomorrow <coughs> I will go through, make a bracelet with you. It'll be number 10. And then um, I'll show you the previous nine bracelets. I think every 10 days I'll do an update because then, uh, you know, I'm a 10th of the way through. I think I might, I was going to say, I think I might put this pendant up for sale in my shop if you're interested let me know i don't think i'm gonna put it in the on the facebook page but if you're interested let me know uh, i just found it randomly sitting next to me so um okay these are going to be the main beads that we're going to break up throughout the necklace with oh my gosh these match so perfectly with these i might need smaller spacers i have my trusty dusty box of spacers somewhere around here um, some of these, these, and those. So let's get started. Let's see. I need to find some cutters. Oh, so we have some scissors here. All right. So I'll put. These out. So I'm just going to spill, oops, literally spill a bunch of these around these out of the way for us for right now because we're, these are going to be the main bead I'm going to um, put them around the necklace and then we will space them out with other accent beads this is going to be so pretty I can already tell I'm so excited my main goal eventually once I get my life together and not stressed out about moving and COVID and work and all this other stuff. My main goal is to have like bead kits. So something like I'll show you how to make a necklace and then offer the like this and the beads. Right now I don't have that availability, but um, I, I'm not trying to get rich off of YouTube guys. I really just want to be able to buy more beads. That's like all, that's all I want. I used to do jewelry full time. I don't really love selling. This is my escape, but you know, you guys know that. I just really want to be able to <laughs> supplement my bead buying. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on beads this week, as my friend, uh, my friends will attest, and we're all kind of shell shocked. <laughs> so, okay, and I'm that's why I'm I'm selling my Zunis, and I mean I I make I have fun making them, so I want to pass that along to you guys. Okay, so for now, that's enough beads. I might make a stacker with these uh, to match the other bracelet for, oh yeah, that could be day nine bracelet, woohoo. Okay, so we have our pendant, which is not really in the screen, there we go. We have our main bead. Now we're gonna use these as spacers. We're gonna use, we might use these throughout. I want to use these for sure so let me just count up one two that's so 
pretty. One, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so here's the middle. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll recount just to make sure later because sometimes counting on camera, my goodness, you'd think I never went to school. Um, and then we'll put another five. I just love these. When I go back to Tucson, if the world ever opens up again and we ever have another bead show, I will be buying more of these. I have them in like a really crazy silver too, <clears throat> but they don't, they wouldn't match this. So one, two, I'm going to do, eh, we'll do four, five. just look like little moon rocks or moon space rocks I don't know these are so cute love them all right one two three four five one two three four five Oh, I spent I put out almost the exact <clears throat> same amount of beads on both sides, I think. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Okay. We're good. So I only had one extra. Um, which I have more over here, so if we need them. Um, I need to find my little box of spacers. I know I have these spacers, but that's not what I'm looking for the moment I want spacers to go through the oh no that's not funny. to go through the uh, polymer clay beads ah here they are I cannot wait to have a dedicated studio to jewelry again oh I was spoiled before I moved here <laughs> okay so we have these spacers. <clears throat> I'm going to take a quick peek at that bracelet one more time because I want it to reminisce the bracelet, even though we're adding different beads that aren't on the bracelet. All right. So, oh my goodness, what got on my bead here? I don't know. It's weird. Some substance got on my bead. All right. So... We use these bead caps, so I think I had, I thought I had those out. I might have put them away. And then um, I have the large, I have the large um, crystals. These the right bead caps. Well, the bead caps are somewhere around here. I don't know that I actually need them. I'm, I don't want to draw that much attention to these beads, and these kind of really stand out with these bead caps. So it's fine for the bracelet, not really what I want for the necklace. So yeah, let's. I'm gonna figure out what we want to do here. I don't know if I'm gonna include. I don't think I am going to going to include the um, green because <clears throat> there's a pop of green on this right here. I want this to be the focal and I feel like this green is so bright that it's going to scream, look at me, and I don't want to look at it. So that'll be perfect for another project. Okay. Let's see. So I want to put these guys, actually, I'm going to have larger. I think I got these from AliExpress. These too big. Nope. Those are big enough. They're slightly different color, but nobody's going to notice that except for us. <clears throat> I used to get so carried away with, 
oh my gosh, does this exact bead match this other exact bead that it would take all of the fun out of it? And then half the time people, when I'm so worried about a mistake that I made on a necklace, people don't see that. They don't care about it. If you're not selling it to them or giving it away and it's just for you, embrace your mistakes or the differences and move on because people love handmade jewelry. It's a great, com I'm sure you know this watching this video. It's a great conversation starter and you could say, oh yeah, I made it. Nobody's ever going to look that this color is slightly off from this color because they're not going to know the difference for sure. Um, <clears throat> oops, I forgot to grab another pair for that bead right there. Okay. Now, whoopsie. Sorry, move the camera. No, you're trying gonna see my messy, messy desk here. <laughs> All right, and then I want to grab a few of these crystals. I actually have some f loose ones here. So I'm gonna put those there. And then I'm gonna take the middle bead out of each set of five beads. Ooh, that is bright. That's really bright. And it's cool because there's glitter in the pendant, but <clears throat> I want to make sure that it doesn't really take away from the pendant. And on the, the bracelet, it's behind, so I don't know that this is a great idea for the necklace. <laughs> Just experimenting. Too small. Don't like it. Okay, next. <laughs> we'll get there. I think this will be too big. Too big, too flashy. Okay, so ideas, ideas. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I have more than enough of these to create two necklaces. The lava, other lava stone, eh, they're everywhere now. I'm going to grab four more of them. Put one here. One, two, one here. Actually, I should have grabbed six. There we go. Okay, so now I have to decide, do I really want the large crystal spacers um, if I'm using this many beads? And I don't. So after my big long speech about them, <laughs> I'm sure you guys are like, oh God, this girl. All right, so I'm going to put them away and I'm just going to use these smaller spacers. Ah, sorry, I'm dropping spacers everywhere. But if I don't put them away... When I make the decision, guess where they'll end up? Not back where they belong, but anywhere else. Okay, so I'm still, I can tell that this necklace will be short if I don't include some more blue beads. So this turned out to be more simple, and this happens to me all the time. I'll bust out a bunch of different beads, and I don't really use everything, but it's nice to have the option. So this is so pretty. This is a really pretty necklace. Um, like I said, I don't think it's going to be long enough. So I'm trying. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. And I want to keep 
the rest of the lava beads out of it because I, I really want to use those on a different project. So let me think about this. I have these melon, silver melons. These might be really nice actually. Put them in the back. So if we go I'll find um, a bead cap for those two middle blue beads. I'll put three back here and three back here. Those are always an easy way to extend a necklace. Just some nice spacers. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. So awesome. <laughs> um, I just put three melons at the back and spaced out the blue beads right here and i'm gonna i'm going to find a bead cap that will work i think these will work they're smaller versions of what i used on the bracelet so i'll just put them next to my blue beads and then i will grab my beading wire which looks like I've unraveled most of it. Um, and then I will put the camera on hyperspeed, is what I like to call it. And I will go ahead and bead the, uh, bead the wire on camera, but it'll be fast motion. Um, I do need to grab a jump ring for this, for the bear. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll be back. Okay, we're at the halfway point. I ended up adding a bead cap um, to this side to separate the lava bead from the jump ring. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the second side. Okay, so I've stranded the necklace and it is the perfect length it's just a uh, like chest length right below not right below my collarbones but maybe an inch or two below it is so fun and so striking and people are going to ask like where the heck did you get this necklace so um like i said i, I don't i'm not i, I don't i want to keep this but i'm probably not going to so it's still for sale in my um facebook uh, page I'll leave the link below if you if you'd like to buy one or this one specifically um, I have four available right now and I can do made to order but here are the others the other three that are available at the moment just to give you and it's so blown out because of the light but um, just to give you an idea they're so cute. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to crimp and I'll be back once the necklace is finished. And she's finished. It's so pretty. I am loving, I, you guys know I love these lava beads. I obsessed over them when I made this bracelet. Um, so I'm not finished with this video yet, but oh my gosh, these look so good together. I'm so excited. Maybe I will keep this. <laughs> if nobody claims this, I'm keeping it, but I can always make another one for myself. Um, yeah, these are so cute. So I just used a regular standard lobster clasp at the back. Um, I'm just loving this. It's making my day. And I was not expecting to make this today. So, um, okay, so we're gonna make a bracelet. Do we want, so I broke my, um, beading needle because I've been using it so much <laughs> um, that one was months old but because I've been using it so much for my challenge I broke it um, so I'm gonna go to Michael's and get a new one <clears throat> maybe a couple of them because I'm gonna be going through them like crazy so let's make a bracelet that matches um, and kind of ties both of these in without using any more lava beads because I want to keep those oh gosh the life of a bead hoarder um, let's see Sorry, I'm trying to get these other lava beads off this strand here. Okay. Whoop. 
and I dropped them. All right, so let's see. So this purple matches this guy, but it doesn't really match the rest. Um, we have our crystals. Let's think, is there something we could do with the crystals? They're so sparkly. Um, let's see, where's my bead mat? Not, not the one I was just using, The my stretch bracelet bead mat, or my bracelet bead mat, I should say. Okay, get this guy out of the way just for a minute, and put the bead mat down, and excuse the other beads that are in here, we're not going to be using those. This in here. Okay. these out here. This is going to be kind of blingy for a stacker from, mm, I don't know. Yeah, I can't picture me wearing a bunch of these right underneath this guy, but we're gonna, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. It's not going to be long enough. Put some more crystals in. Still not going to be long enough. Mm -hmm. We'll do this. And even if the bracelet doesn't go with the, the other bracelet, it definitely goes with the necklace. So I can always wear it by itself. Really using up these crystal spacers lately. <laughs> I have to order more. I think I got them from Bargain Bead Box. All right, I, I might have another bead needle somewhere, but I don't think I saw it in my stretch bracelet drawer so or my stretch bracelet supply drawer so that's where I keep like my beading needles and cord and stuff so we're just gonna start um, I'll put let's see one two three four five one two three four five six seven okay and I'll put one of the crystals in the back So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up because I don't have my beading needle, so this is going to take a little while. <laughs> Okay, so I'm measuring the bracelet, and I think it's just a little too long. And I don't know if you saw that, but I started putting the second amount, uh, second set of beads on without the crystals in between. It is too long. So what I'm going to do is take that crystal out in the back, which is fine. Add a little tiny crystal spacer, and then we'll go from there. I'm just cut. I'm sorry, it's not on camera, but I'm just cutting the bracelet. So I'm going to take off this crystal spacer and put on a tiny rondelle. And actually, this might be a little too long still, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to measure to see if I should take off one of the lava beads. Yeah. Nope, we're good. This is such a pretty bracelet. It's not usually my, my usual style, but it's so pretty. It's so blingy. <laughs> so day nine is in the books for bracelet. It's so pretty. I'm just stretching off camera my stretch cord. and wow making one bracelet without that stretch cord needle was horrible I'm gonna go get that today even though it's a holiday they think they're open <laughs> all right so um, just tying my knots okay oh it's so pretty isn't that gorgeous 
I just, you know, I love my blues and that it has some green and iridescence in there. It just makes me so happy. So I'm gonna, going to take my GS Hypo Cement and dot some glue on the knot. And I always glue the knot before I cut. Always, always, always. And then I let it rest usually five minutes before I cut because we don't want that, if we cut, we don't want the knot to slide undone and then before the glue dries. So if we have the tails on still, we can still tighten it. But if the tails are gone and then the knot comes undone, we have to restrand. So um, I will let that rest for five minutes. Um, so originally, <clears throat> I was also going to make a necklace with this guy. And what I'm thinking is he's so adorable. I'm just going to put him on a little chain and he'll be a, um, he will be a uh, layering necklace for me. So I'm going to drill a hole. Um, so these guys, they're, they're whole, I, I tend to drill them in different places because sometimes it depends on where the arch is in their legs. Um, I usually go straight up. So the arch, so it, because they're handmade, sometimes it's a little different depending on which, how it's baked. So I'm just going to make my hole with my hand drill. Some people call this a pin drill if you're looking for it on Amazon, that's where I got mine. It was cheaper on Amazon than I think like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or anything. All right, so I just drilled a hole. Let's find a jump ring. Sorry, the polymer clay shavings are in the way here. And we will put a hole in. Uh, well, we did put a hole. We'll put our jump ring in, and then I will go grab. This is a little bit of a big jump ring, but I will go grab um, a chain and show you how adorable this guy will look on the chain. I have one of these in on my Facebook page right now available, and let me see if it's around here. I could show it to you guys. Yeah, I don't have it in front of me. Okay, so. Let me go get um, some chain and we'll be right back. Okay, so I slipped him onto a chain I think I got from Hobby Lobby a while ago. I think it's about 16 inches with a two inch extender. Um, he is making a lot of impact for not a lot of effort. And it's just, you, know, you can't make all of your um, <laughs> necklaces super crazy. So I'm really, really happy with this. And I actually can't choose between the two, which one's my favorite probably will change in every day, um, depending on what my mood is. So here are the two necklaces we made today. And then we have bracelet, a day nine bracelet that goes with the necklace, this necklace, uh, the Zuni, they're both Zuni necklace, the Aurora Borealis necklace. And it's a stacker to the first Zuni bear uh, bracelet that I've made. Um, and then here is the um, Desert Night Sky. I found um, this guy is in on my Facebook page for sale for $10, um, along with this guy and the other three that I showed you earlier today. So if you're interested, have any questions at all, please um, leave a comment below, or you can check out my Facebook page that I'm going to list um, in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I am having so much fun with you guys and I hope you have a fantastic July 4th. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.